Hello everyone, it's Vicki J. Thank you so much for being here. This is a live try on of the Rouge Hermes lipsticks, the satin formula. I picked up two shades or two shades were delivered today. I actually picked up five shades. I'm gonna try and keep the glare from the sun out of the video, but we'll see how we do. But yeah, I um, picked up five shades, but only two um, were not on pre-order. So here we are with two shades and I literally just got my Saks delivery. <laughs> so I ordered these off of Saks Fifth Avenue. And um, these two shades were the only ones that I liked that were available. You know, a lot of them are sold out right now. A lot of them are on pre-order. <clears throat> I did manage to get the two limited edition shades that were up for pre-order, but those are not gonna be shipped until April 7th. I think the other one, um, the other shade that I ordered with this will be delivered or shipped out uh, April 1st. So anywho, here we are. And I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to get in. And while, while I'm waiting for people to come on in, I just wanna let you know that I am Vicky J and I am a luxury and high-end makeup enthusiast. I love um, all things beauty, but I definitely love more so high-end and luxury beauty. So that's what you will find on this channel. If that is something that you're interested in, then please click the subscribe button and become a J Bay. That is what I refer to my subscribers as. I lovingly refer to them as my bays. Hello, home life love. Thank you so much for coming through. I do a lot of lives mainly because I'm a mama and I don't have a lot of time without the baby to film and edit and all of that stuff. So you're going to get a lot of live videos here. So everything is, you know, like right in the moment. Hi, Deanna. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, today was supposed to be a tutorial day. And I do apologize to my subscribers because they were very excited. Thank you. <laughs> they were very excited to, um, to see the tutorial, the look that I did last Friday. I will give that to you guys on Sunday, this coming Sunday, because I don't have another day before the weekend when I can do it. This is my only day off. And my husband just got home like not even an hour ago and I said, hey, how about this? How about you take the baby? How about you go on somewhere so I could do this, so I could try these on for you guys? So yeah, they're out right now. And here I am, ready to try these on for you. It's a little warm, just a little bit. I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm not complaining <laughs> at all. I just, you know, I don't like perspiring. I just enjoy a good, you know, sunny day. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and try these on. So this is how they come. This is the packaging right here. So you get a little peek of that signature uh, Hermes orange box that their other products come in. So it's very, you know, luxe. It's very like enveloped in experience in the experience of luxury which i really like so you get this box here and on the top it says you know rouge hermes come on baby rouge hermes with the name of the color and then you open her up and you get the orange box so you get the orange box, very cute. And this slides out and has the burlap sack over your rouge lippy. It also has the um, Hermes emblem on the top, which I thought was really pretty. And you just squeeze it out of the bag and you've got this beautiful bullet. Really pretty. It's just such a moment. <laughs> it's just such a moment. And this one here is Rose Mexique. Uh, I got a lot of pinks. I love pink. Um, it's one of my favorite lip lip colors, you know, and it's got a decent amount of weight to it. It's not like, and it also has a magnetic closure. So these retail for $67. You can purchase them on Saks, Neiman's, Bergdorf, and Hermes, their website, Hermes.com. So, oh my God, look at this. Oh, also, it does say Hermes Paris on the magnet. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna take a picture of it for you and put it on Instagram. But it does on the actual magnet say Hermes Paris. And 
it says so on the bullet as well. Have a look at that, loves. That is Rose Mexique. That is just gorgeous. I am going to just put it on. Um, they have a couple of things that you can also purchase. The um, They have a universal lip liner and they have um, a lip brush. I believe the lip brush was like 80 some dollars, $83, $87, something like that. And then the lip liner was, I think, $38. Now, that's not outside the realm of what I expect because Hermes is a high luxury brand. I mean, there's a bag that I was eyeballing that was about $9,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're that company. So, of course, their, their uh, cosmetics are going to be in line with that. So, let's just go ahead and try this bad boy on. And I'm just doing a little swatcheroo for you. I've got my wipes here. And I'm just going to show you how this looks. I did a neutral look on purpose as well, just so that what I'm doing goes with whatever I'm putting on. Mm. Creamy and comfortable, honey. Just the camel palette from Natasha Denona. Okay, so the, oh yes, honey, this is, this is bright, honey, I love it. So this is Rose Mexique. And I like the shape of the bullet. This paddle just kind of sweeps, this sort of like flat part sweeps right over the lip and then you've got that kind of sharp edge there to properly line as you go. So this is the satin formula, very creamy. You do need to run over your lips a couple times to get the opacity to really pop, especially if you have like um, lips that are either skin tone shade or darker. Um, you're gonna wanna pass over it a couple more times. But they also have the same shade in matte. The matte formula is a moisturizing matte, so if you prefer that finish, you can still get the same color just in that finish, same price. So I like a satin finish because I like that little bit of shine that you get. I'm just coming a little closer for y'all. And you can line that if you feel like it's too bold for you. I'm actually going to line this with an, an additional hot pink. I, I love a loud lip, honey. <laughs> That's just, you know, it's got a little blue undertone to it. I like this a lot. And they do have, on the Hermes site especially, they have... Um, it, at least five examples of women of different skin tones and, and um, ethnicities. And there is a woman that is our shade that is wearing this. And I was like, ooh, that pops off. Let me go ahead and grab that. So there she is. I'm definitely going to keep these in the box. <laughs> I'm going to go through all the rigmarole of rolling it, taking it out the burlap sack. Every time I want to wear it, I'm just going to... Do it just like this, honey. Here we go. Bam. I'm going to leave it right in the box like that. And I'm going to set it perched right on my top, top shelf to keep it away from the baby. So the next shade is uh, Rose, Rose Zinzolin. I want to make sure I'm like, and it's number 50 <laughs> in case we don't, <laughs> in case we can't really pronounce that, which I don't think I did very well. So we went through the whole, you know, this is how it goes. I'm going to pull this one out, and then I'm going to wipe my lip off so that we can try this one on. Now, this one was absolutely stunning. They're, they're all beautiful. I don't feel like there's a bad color. Not for this initial rollout, honey. There is not a bad color. Um, I would say most, if not all, of the shades you can wear. Like, it just depends on your comfort level. You know, even, like, their beige shade. It's very, um, Patrice, it's a neutral palette. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like here. Hi, Z. Get this. It's one of the five pans um, for $48, I believe. 
I don't remember if Sephora still sells this one or not, but I, that's who I bought it from. Hello, Tawana. Hello, hello. I just need to pull my star palette out of this drawer that it's in because I don't know where else to put my star palette. It's kind of big. <laughs> but yeah, here is the palette that I'm wearing today. This is the Natasha Denona Camel palette. It's very, you know, it's a neutral, um, neutral undertone or cool undertone browns, which I really like. I use this if I don't know what to wear. A lot of people go for warm and I was like, yeah, I, I really need a neutral one. Ooh, what we're not gonna do is drop our Hermes lipsticks, honey. Warrior 2. No, I have Warrior 3. I don't have Warrior 2. I just wasn't moved to get it. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe uh, Rose Maxique off and we're going to try on Rose Zinzolin. Still a whole lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is really beautiful. We're, um, that was Rose Mexique that I was wearing. I might be saying that wrong. It might be Mexique. <laughs> okay, so we are cleaned off. All right, making sure. Fully cleaned off and then blotting. Make sure my hands are very clean, honey, because these are like... <laughs> precious <laughs> so this is rose in Zoline, and look at this shade y'all ah this is beautiful i said i have to have this one come through hermes all right so let's do it oh my god mm. Mm. this is so pretty I'm wearing this one tomorrow. I'm wearing a sword tomorrow. Oh my God. And this satin formula is so creamy. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. I just want to rub it, you know? <laughs> like I just want to keep putting it on. <laughs> it feels so good. Mmm. is pretty mm, mm, mm. this is pretty of the two this one's my favorite but i have a few more coming look at her this is really beautiful wow wow i'm gonna link you guys to every place that i saw that they still have some in hopes that you can hey hey lori I'm going to swatch both of them on my hands so those of you who are coming in after the fact can still see. Oh, this is, um, <laughs> this is Hermes. We're doing the Hermes lipsticks. So this is the Rose Mexique. Let's get that popping off right there. And... The rose and Zalyn that I'm wearing right now on my lips. These are both so beautiful and so different. I wasn't sure how different they were going to be, but these are extremely different. Those are two different moods, two different looks, you know. These are stunning. Let me just move this little thing out the way. Oh, obsessed. I'm obsessed. Wow, I'm getting a lot of like missed calls for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, so yeah, here we are. The one I'm wearing is uh, Rose Zinzolin, number fifty, and this is I. These are both in the satin formula. I need to order the matte ones, but I'm trying to find somebody who has them all, <laughs> the ones that I want, so I can just order them from one spot. Because um, once I have everybody, then I'm going to try on, like, all the ones that I want, I'm going to try them all on in a video. And I'm going to just actually, like, edit that video and make it, like, nice. So, ooh, as I mentioned before, I am going to put these back in their box. <laughs> I'm going to treat them with kid gloves. 
Make sure I don't, ha don't have anything on my fingers when I go to put them back in their little sacks. Mm -hmm. Well, Z, that's all right. These are going to be around, you know, whenever you're ready or if somebody is, uh, you know, in the market to give you a gift, you can gently hint them in that direction. That means you didn't buy it, right? <laughs> hey, Maya, welcome. All right, so I'm putting putting the baby back in the crib and then placing her in her little closet. And it comes in, for those of you who um, didn't see it earlier, it comes in this box right here. So this is how it comes when you get it. And you got that little hint of the orange there. I think this is super cute. I am not planning to keep this part, but I'm definitely keeping the orange box. This is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Now, the ones that are limited edition, um, from what I understand, um, the Hermes uh, sales associates have confirmed that they truly are limited edition, meaning they're not restocking them. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. But right now they're on pre-order on several websites. So I'm going to link you to everywhere that I have looked in order to purchase in hopes that there are still some colors left for whatever, you, you know, shades that you are interested in. They have a full range from reds to, you know, uh, pinks into purples. Um, they have nudes. The only thing I didn't see really was like a chocolatey brown. But they had orange. They had red you know because it's for spring summer so i think they just really went for more like vibrant bright um tones so i'm i'm pretty sure that once we start moving into fall winter we're gonna get them vampy lips so i'm very excited about that and i did um add to my cart i have not pulled the trigger yet but i am planning to order the universal lip liner i don't think i'll get the lip brush just because i don't need nobody's lip brush what do I need a lip brush for? That thing ain't big enough to handle me. <laughs> so I am bothered with that. And and I have lip brushes if I need that. But I, I the Universal Lip Liner, I've had only one from Dior. And it served me well, but it's almost gone. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Universal Lip Liner from Hermes. It's very pretty packaging. You know how I am about that. So <laughs> this lip, yo. Hi, Dawn. Oh, honey. Mm. <laughs> I am feeling myself. Oh, oh, honey. Feeling myself. So I'm wearing um, Dior concealer today as my foundation. It was really quick. So I said, let me do that. Man, I feel. I want to cut my hair again, y'all. I want to I wanna do like the tapered afro again, but I know I'm going to regret it. So I'm trying to like, trying to not do that and just let it grow out. But I've been eyeing those clippers. I just wanna, just wanna take these sides and then give myself, give myself that chic look again. This is really beautiful. I'm like obsessed with this shade. Wow. <laughs> okay, I I won't do it. I really want, I want to see what my hair would look like platinum and like a big fro. I'm, I'm excited about that. I really want to see it. So I'm trying to be patient. So yeah. <sighs> you guys, this is nice. I don't think I, the closest as I'm looking at it. No, I don't have a shade exactly like this. Like I have shades that are kind of close to it but I don't have one exactly like this and certainly not this formula. Mm. Wow. This one I think is like vibrant, but still everyday wearable. Rose Mexique, you gotta be a bold chick to wanna wear it. You know, I am, but <laughs> just saying like, I feel like you gotta be super bold and, and want to stand out. Rose Mexique. It's very, very bright. This one back in the box, too. I don't even want Nala to know I have these. 
<laughs> I'm just, she ain't even gonna know. Um, I don't know if I told you all that I had a dream that uh, before Nala was born, I had a dream that I had my own beauty room, like a separate room. And I kept like walking into the beauty room. And each time I walked in the beauty room, she was a different age playing in my makeup, starting from this age, like from a toddler. And then she was like a little girl. And then she was a preteen. And then she was like going to prom. And then she was graduating from college <laughs> each time I went in the room. And I'm like, Nala. And she's like, hey, mom, you know, I <laughs> just wanted to borrow some lipstick. And it was just the cutest thing. So I love that she's interested in things I'm interested in and wants to, you know, play in makeup. So I give her her own things. Like I let her <clears throat> play in my lip balm or I let her, you know, I have a brush holder that has the brushes that I never use and I just let her play with that. So I will probably get her like an Ulta eyeshadow palette or something to play with. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, she ain't, she ain't touching these. I, I ain't playing with her. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. I know it was kind of like really quick. But um, next time, I'll definitely make sure I, um, you know, do the full, do the full thing. I think this weekend I was planning to order some more, but I need to make sure that everything else is taken care of before I order more things. So we shall see. Have any of you already placed an order and is your stuff on pre-order or... I I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really feel like I have a reason for it. I'm sure it's beautiful, though. I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, excuse me. But I added these hooks for my crossbodies and my totes because that I can't rest them on um, the shelf. And for those of you who did not see it, I'm gonna just turn the camera. Ooh, I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see the canvas print of Nala and I. I really love it. That thing is so big. It's a 24 inch by 36 inch. It's really awesome. Okay. So yeah, did any of you pick up the Hermes? Uh, yeah, she did. Muna Minaj Gallery. She's awesome. If you visit her Instagram, you'll see like she does she's consistently amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and find those links for you guys right now and I'm gonna add them. Oh yeah. I remember you said that. Um, I'm going to add them to the description below. Give me about like 15 minutes for that. And that is going to do it for now. I will see you all on Sunday. And um, I'm going to make, I'm gonna make Solomon take her somewhere so that we can sit down and really focus and put that look together. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I am going to play with the Uma Beauty um eyeshadow palette and see what i come up with um or actually yeah yeah yeah, i am because i want to do a yellow eye look i'm really determined to do a yellow eye look so <sighs> get ready for that <laughs> all right you guys i will see you later have a good day enjoy this beautiful weather if you're experiencing beautiful weather like i am and i'll see you next time <laughs>